Okay, what about tip number three? Okay, this is <laughs> this is a really top tip for creating a culture of error and normalizing being wrong and flushing out error. So it's it's called start with whoever got eight out of ten. So it doesn't have to be eight out of ten exactly because it doesn't matter how many questions, but it's the idea that if you've given a quiz with ten possible answers, ten questions, and then you've gone through the answers, you don't start by saying who got them all right, because if you do that, um, none of them are wrong, so there's nothing to talk about, and also everyone else who didn't get them all right is feeling a little bit, oh, okay, I better. Not so many people got them all right. If you say, right, so who got eight out of ten? Michael, how did you get on? He's, cause he's, he's put his hand up. He said, brilliant, well done. So which ones did you get wrong? And you go straight in with that. And he's quite happy to say, oh, I didn't get number seven. All right, so why, why, what happened? What did you put? Oh, do you, what, tell me what you think the answer is now then. Yeah, okay, yeah, great, well done. And can you explain it back? Brilliant. And what else did you get wrong? Number ten, okay. That's good. And did, who else got eight out of ten? Susan, okay, all right, so the same, okay, what else? Brilliant, so that's another one. Did anyone else get one wrong then? And we've got people going, me, 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 because it's become normalised. Yeah. And, they're all, and the eight out of teners are happy to tell you they got them wrong. And then you can you go through a few wrong answers. It's the, what you're trying to do anyway. And then you say, and who got, did anyone get them all right? Oh, well done, guys, that's brilliant. And then that's at the end, because you still give them that affirmation. But it's not the... It, it, it's, the, it's, it's the easiest way of students feeling safe to tell that you got answers wrong. And I just think that works so well. And the, if you don't have a culture where children can say stuff they got wrong, they hide it. Mm. And it can make it really hard for you to find out. And you don't want to hide it. You want them to tell you. And that, that's, and it's, it's just, a, a, you know, just one of the things I found works really well. That's lo it's so lovely that time. Because, again, I was just thinking back to the errors I've made with this. So I've, I've done it both ways around. So if it's a, a quiz out of 10, I've either said, right, let's start at the bottom. Anyone get zero out of 10? Anyone get one out of 10? Anyone? <laughs> and that's a disaster waiting to happen because no one wants to be the first kid to put their hand up. But then, yeah, if you do it the other way around and you start at the top... Again, once those first initial hands have gone up, you're feeling pretty rubbish if, if, if you haven't had a chance to put your hand up yeah. and you're waiting for it to slide down to your level. So I love that, and I love the fact that it, it draws out those initial mistakes kids have made, and then it, it becomes, yeah, like you say, normalises the exact phrase. I, I love that. That's really nice. Uh, re really nice, that. 